hi everyone now we are going to learn about the dark field microscope which is one of the types of microscope when you enter into a dark room dust particles in the air are practically invisible but if a beam of light crosses the room the dust immediately becomes visible as a bright particles in the light and this is going to happen because the dust particles are going to refract the rays of light and direct some of them towards the observer that means we whoever going to absorb so by this method of indirect illumination against a dark background particles are going to be visible and here you can see the picture of it so how we are able to see the dust particles in a dark room in a dark field microscope also the specimen which is going to be absorbed is going to be brightly illuminated against a dark background that means the images are going to be of appearing as a brightening or luminary bodies against a dark background so this is how we are going to absorb and coming to the structure of the dark field microscope the effect of image produced by this dark field microscope is quite opposite to that of our bright field microscope because in the bright field microscope we have seen the objects as a darker and the background as a brighter one so in this dark microscope you are going to have the objects as a brighter one and the background is going to be darker in manner so the specimens or the objects are brightly illuminated against the dark background of the microscopic field and this kind of the mechanism is going to occur because of uh, introducing a special kind of uh, condenser which is going to be called as a dark field condenser or the ab condenser so we are going to convert a bright field microscope into a dark field microscope by just keeping a special condenser called as a b condenser or the dark field condenser so here you can see so in this dark field condenser the center of the top lens is opaque so that none of the central rays can pass through the specimen that is going to be present on the stage and the specimen is on the stage is going to be illuminated only with the peripheral oblique rays so this is how only with the peripheral oblique rays as a result of this the field appears to be darker in color or darker in manner and the specimen is going to st stands out as a bright refractive structure so coming to the principle of uh, this dark field microscope so this dark field microscope is going to use a light microscope with an extra opaque disc underneath the condenser which is we are going to call it as as a b condenser or dark field condenser which is having the centrally blocked out area to, due to which the light coming from the source cannot directly enter into the object that is nothing but the specimen now the path of the light is directed in such a way that it can pass through the outer edge so this is how so only through the outer edge it is going to pass out of the condenser at a wide angle and strike the specimen at a oblique angle and only the light scattered by the sample reaches the objective lens so this is our objective lens for visualization so all other light that passes through the specimen will miss the object and thus the specimen is going to be brightly illuminated on a dark background so the one which is going to be of uh, di directly entering into the object are going to be diffractor rays and the one which is not going to be entering and they are going to be away from the object you are going to be non diffracted rays so this is a basic principle behind this uh, dark field microscope then coming to the uses of dark field microscope we are having a, a very vast or a certain Uh, more advantages when compared to our uh, bright field microscope what are they so for example uh, we can study the life 
unstained preparation of microbes or other specimens suspended in the fluid can be done very easily by using this dark field microscope when compared to the bright field. In the bright field, we cannot observe the live stains very clearly when compared to the dark field. The second point is, so with the help of this dark field microscope, we can visualize the spirochete such as Treponema pallidum which causes the syphilis and Borrelia bulgidoferi which is going to be of uh, Lyme borreliosis and Leptospira introgans which causes the Leptospirosis which are present in the clinical samples. And these pyrochetes are not going to be seen by the light microscopy because of their thin dimension. So we can observe them in this dark field microscope. So for the observation of the pyrochetes, especially, we will use the dark field microscope. And this dark field microscope is highly useful in examining the external details such as outlines, edges, grain boundaries, and surface defects that internal structure. When coming to the observation of microbial motility, that means we can observe the motility and tufts of bacterial plasma can often be seen in unstained cells by dark field or even the phase contrast microscope which we will discuss in the consecutive video. And the dark field microscope is also useful to study marine organisms such as algae, plankton, diatoms, insects, fibers, hates, yeast, protozoa, as well as some minerals and crystals, thin polymers and some ceramics. Observation of internal structure in larger eukaryote microorganisms such as algae and yeast and etc. can also be done by using this dark field microscope. So the advantages, so those are all the uses where we can use. Then what are the advantages of having this dark field microscope when compared to our a bright field microscope. So the dark field microscope is going to be an idol which is going to be especially used for viewing the objects that are unstained, transparent and they are going to absorb the little or no light. And the resolution of this dark field microscope is somewhat better than the bright field microscope. And this dark field microscope is going to improve the image contrast without the use of stain and thus it is not going to be involved in killing the cells that we are going to observe. Then this dark veil microscope is going to be of uh, useful in direct detection of non-culturable bacteria present in the patient sample. That means certain samples will be there where we cannot culture them in the media to study about them. So in that condition, this dark field microscope will be very useful in observing or detecting the bacteria present in the patient sample. And next, in this dark field microscope, no sample preparation is required like how we do it in the bright field. And this do not require no special setup. That means it do not require any uh, special setup. Even a light microscope can be converted to a dark field microscope. Just by keeping the AB condenser, we can convert the light microscope into the dark field microscope. That much uh, advantage we are having. And this dark field microscope is often dismissed for more modern observation techniques such as uh, phase contrast which provides more accurate higher contrasted images and can be used to observe a greater number of specimens. Recently, the dark field microscope has regained some of its popularity when combined with other illumination techniques such as fluorescence which widens its possible employment in certain fields. So these are the few advantages of uh, having the dark field microscope. Then the limitations of dark field microscope. So what are the limitations that we are going to have uh, of not allowing the dark field microscope to use. So the necessity to examine wet moist specimens containing live organisms very quickly because visualization of the moving bacteria is essential to detection. The sample must be very strongly illuminated which can cause a damage to the sample. Besides the sample, 
dust particles also scatter the light and they appear bright so we will get some sort of a, a distortion regarding this one and the sample material needs to be spread thinly dense preparation can grossly affect the contrast and accuracy of the dark pills image if you need to use the oil or water on the condenser or the slide it is almost impossible to avoid all air bubbles these liquid bubbles will cause images degradation flare and distortion and even decreases the contrast and details of the specimen it is not a reliable tool to obtain accurate measurements of the specimen so we cannot measure the measurement of any specimen that we want to measure by using this dark field microscope finally Numerous problems can arise when adapting and using a dark field microscope. The amount and intensity of light, the position, size and the placement of the condenser and the stop need to be corrected to avoid any aversions. So these are the few uh, limitations that we are going to observe. And here if you observe, here is the difference between the two types of the images that one formed by the bright field microscope image where the background is bright and the objects are going to be darker in manner. And in the dark field microscope, if you see here, the background is darker and the image is going to be brightly illuminated. So here just uh, for understanding, I have kept both the pictures to be uh, having the bright field microscope image. This is and this is dark field microscope image so this is all about the dark field microscope in the uh, next consecutive video we are going to learn about the phase contrast microscope thank you